Welcome back to another week of Lily Squared. I'm Soleil Rucker, and I'm sitting with Mario Ellie, a three-time NBA champion. Good afternoon, Mario. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Great to be on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Take us back to the moment when you were drafted drafted in the seventh round by the Milwaukee Bucks. How were you feeling in that moment? It was an amazing experience. Um, I, me- I remember being with my buddies in uh, the park in New York playing basketball, and I remember my mom coming over and all excited. And uh, so I got fantastic news for you. And I said, what's that? She said, you've been drafted by the Milwaukee Bucks. I said, what round? She said, seventh. I was like, whoa. <laughs> so I was real excited, especially me going to a Division II school and people recognizing there's talent. You know, as long as you're good, you know, like I tell young guys when I talk to them, if you're good enough, people will find you. Awesome. That's so awesome to hear. You scored a last minute corner three pointer that delivered the Rockets the win over the Suns in the Western semi finals. After you blew a kiss to the Suns bench, <laughs> why throw a kiss to the bench after a, for celebration? Yeah, it's funny you say that. Um, everybody always asks me that question. Um, it was me and Joe Klein. Joe Klein is a center that plays for the Suns. So we sort of started getting into it. So we decide every time each of us score a bucket, we blow kisses at each other. But of course, you know who got the last kiss I did. And I remember making the shot, you know, game seven on the road, just a great environment in there. And I just remember the crowd going silent. And um, I remember looking at the Suns bench and blowing them the kiss of death. <laughs> That's so awesome. Do people ever bring that up to you quite often? Everywhere, <laughs> especially in Houston, everywhere I go is funny. You see, I'm. I'm gray, you know, I'm in my fifties and people still remember that. That's, that's a, that's a very exciting to know that people still remember that moment in this city. Uh, I think we brought the first two championships to this great city. So, you know, we're legends. I'm assuming around here. So people remember when you win. <laughs> they don't remember when you come in second. <laughs> Absolutely. That was, I still watched the video. I thought that was really awesome and hilarious at the same time because that celebration is you don't see the celebration everywhere so i think you blowing know. a kiss was not blowing a kiss no <laughs> and then going on to win the championship that was like icing on the cake that was that was perfect after 11 years of your nba career with six different teams you've started off assistant coach with the spurs how was that transition from playing in the nba to becoming an assistant coach it was a very time, interesting time in my life because I was also trying to have, me and my wife were trying to have children. Mm-hmm. So at the end of my career with Phoenix, Phoenix offered me another year to come back and play. But um, I was in Phoenix. My wife was in uh, was in uh, Houston. But I felt it was most important, you know, to try to have a family. I was getting older. She was getting older. So we ended up having triplets. And I remember getting a call from the Spurs uh, just to invite me to camp. R.C. Buford called me up. said, Mary, why don't you come training camp and see how you like it? So I in the meetings with Greg Popovich, and I really enjoyed the experience. They didn't have a position for me at the moment, but the following year I got a call from Popovich. He said, hey, there's a spot, and that's how my coaching career started, thanks to Coach Popovich. Oh, my goodness. That's so awesome to hear. After your multiple years as assistant coach, you are now a broadcaster for the Houston Rockets. So Houston's home for you. How does that feel like to be broadcasting for them now? It's, it's very exciting. That's my team. You know, that's my favorite NBA team. Those <laughs> my favorite years in the league. Still cheer for them to this day. Um, Absolutely. I'm going to, to, to Toyota Center and seeing our pictures all over the arena. I'm like, wow, this is great. Houston basketball history and and to me you know being part of the Houston family I've been wanting this for a long time this is my home this is where I raised my kids this is where I met my wife so this is a special place in my heart so love talking about the Rockets uh love working with Calvin Murphy Kevin <laughs> Esch- Felter uh Kaylee Griffin Ryan Hollins you know we got a good group of, of people I'm working with and uh you know, it's just it's just a great transition. You know, I'm a guy who's used to doing things. I don't like staying home and doing nothing. But uh, Rockets gave me the opportunity, and then we're having a fun time with it. That's so awesome. So after all of these trades, James Harden being gone, Chris Paul, Capella, how do you think the Rockets are going to do this season? Do you feel confident in Jalen Green? 
I think everybody just got to learn a big word. It's called patience. Uh, we're a very young team. We got eight guys under 21 years old. And uh, you heard a lot of the, the young players say after this first game, this is a man's league. This is a very competitive league. These, this is men. You know, uh, the summer league is like JV. But when the season really starts, that's when the men come out and that's when the wolves come out. So it was a big eye opener for them in uh, Minnesota. But the most important thing, it's a great group of young men. You know, they're willing to learn. So the best way to learn is to go out on the court and play. They're going to take their lumps. But I think in the long run, I'm with you. I pick Jalen Green to get rookie of the year this year. That's all the questions that I have for you today, Mario. Thank you so much for being here with me. And go Rockets and go Astros. And you know what? Go Jayhawks. Okay? And Jayhawks. Jayhawks. Of course, Rock Chalk.